Alright folks, hello and welcome back to Downstage Gaming. I'm your host Josh, and this is part 8 of our Let's Play of Paradise Killer. I just I just noticed as we, uh, as I was looking after this save here. It's a little, little uh, soda mascot down there. And we'll probably get down there eventually, so let's look out for that later. Uh, but yeah, so last time when we last left off, uh, we got yet another, we solved yet another puzzle, crane puzzle this time, and found an astronaut helmet that apparently belongs to Lydia. Uh, and that's, that was odd. Uh, we also gained some meditation powers that allows us to see, like, all the clues on the island and, like, uh, blood crystals and all that, which is, uh, certainly probably gonna be helpful. Let's get some uh, new music here. Ooh! House of Bliss indeed! The heat gave way, as it always does, to lust. Ours was a life of indulgence. We were fierce, we were alive. Tens across the board. Cool. Alright, well let's, uh, let's go get this first. We're gonna talk to our red skeleton friend in just a moment here. But first, the 23rd Island sequence. This one is nearly perfect. It lasts for so long. Carmelina is truly a genius. Don't call her the, call her the architect for nothing, I suppose. Hmm. Can I, uh... Is this good? Nope, nope. We need a little height. Let's uh, get up on the table, maybe. And then a little bit of momentum. There we go. Nailed it. And then, is this another locked door, kind of looks like? Yep. Alright, well, we should be able to get there from where we just were, right? So, back on the table, back up here. Oh, there we go. And then over here, and then over the plants. Booyah. Alright, let's open this up. Got it. Hatch. Hmm. I'm hearing Shinji, too. Where the heck is hearing the crazy laugh? It's like, up. Uh, all right, we got we got a lot to look at here. I guess let's go in here first. So this must be this the, the red skeleton guy's soul. Bar knife through the hearts. Oh, this is the this is the bar. Okay, all right. Uh, let's start here. Nightmare lock safe. A safe sealed by a nightmare computer. Do we have what we need? We do not we need pyramids and worship. Okay. What about over here? Also need need pyramids. Okay, so <laughs> nothing doing over here then, I guess. Uh, we got a hatch. Ooh, where is this taking us? Oh my, a secret tunnel, huh? Is this uh, freaking Crimson's secret tunnel? Unable to locate points of interest here. This definitely sounds like what Crimson was, uh, was talking about. She gave us a call last time and was basically like, well, I can't believe you haven't found me. And it's like, you know, it's a big island. What do you want from me? Okay, so where does this go? It's like a secret shortcut to somewhere? A secret tunnel into the dead zone. Someone has been naughty. Naughty, naughty! Uh, so I don't know what the dead zone is. I guess it's this. All right. Well, let's let's grab a uh, grab a drink first and get a uh, vision of the future on the Twenty Fifth Island sequence. Who do you think rules the world? The Syndicate. No, not our world. The real world? No, not that one either. What other world is there? The metaphorical world, the concept of world. You mean the gods? No, yes, are they the only gods? Probably, possibly, maybe, definitely, absolutely not. How could we say? How could we know? If you worry about that, you'll lose yourself. I don't want to lose myself. Good. It's easy to do. Are these two just at like a poetry slam session? Is this, what, is this how what's going on here? 
A whiskey that hasn't been aged. Nutty, sweet, and peppery. Sometimes drunk for luck during gambling. Okay. What's in the cooler here? Sure. This is a whiskey distillery. It's in use, but the dead zone is supposed to be sealed. <gasps> Has Sammy been making an illegal blend? What the hell? There's something odd here. This is a medical grade blood chiller designed to keep blood cold when it's being transported. Interesting. There's an empty blood bottle inside. The label has been scratched off, but I can just make out a K as the first letter of the name. K. Blood not found. This bottle has been scrubbed clean. No trace of any blood. I don't like this. After being used, this was clean to remove evidence. But why keep it? Paranoia? No one comes into the dead zone, so it wouldn't be found. Helps incriminate others if this is unaccounted for. I need to find what this is linked to. Just going to Sam about it without context will make him clam up. Hmm. I mean, the, the thing to me that would be the obvious connection there is the... We, we found a vial of the Council's blood under the crime scene that was presumably used to make uh, Henry digest it, to make him seem like the obvious uh, suspect. Which would suggest that uh, Sammy here is involved in all that. Something has been destroyed here. Starlight says there's nothing unusual here. Some metals, plastic, tinted glasses, and fire-resistant fabric. No way to tell what it was. Interesting. There's definitely some crimes going on here. The question is just, is it our crimes? Is it the crimes that matter? Alright, let's use our, use our meditation power here. Let's see what's nearby. Get another drink? Why not? What you got for me this time, Dead Nebula? Blood Fountain. An energy drink that makes you feel like your blood wants to burst out of body. A good pick-me-up. I mean, that doesn't sound like the most pleasant thing in the world, but I'll take your word for it. The 17th Island Sequence. Ah, the 17th Island. Remember that? Remember them? Remember those? Enough to wish for death. Okay, so apparently 17th Island was not great, at least for that person. Oh. <laughs> for the narrator. What is this? Okay, that's a little spooky. A little spooky for me. Yes, okay, so we're still in like a separate area that is, must not connect to the rest of the island then. I'll go there in a second, that feels important. Let's get some other stuff around here first. Huh. Hmm. Alright, well let's let's meditate again. Make sure we're not missing anything here. Okay, so there's some stuff over that way. One thing over there. Looks like another island sequence. Dead Nebula! Help me! Dead Nebula, the mascot was designed many islands ago by the artist Renoi. Kids love him! I love him. I'm not a kid. The 16th island sequence. A time for watching crows circle. I feel like <laughs> I feel like there was a middle time there where people just were kind of bored. That's the feeling I'm getting. Okay, looks like we can head up there. Yeah, there's something up there. All right, let's go there before we head back to the spooky lit up hallway. Was there something there? No. Oh, and I'm missing my. Okay, all right. So it's like a it's like an apartment complex here. Ooh. What is this? Henry's apartment. Ground zero for the demonic invasion a decade ago. Sure. This is where the demon possessed him. He killed his mother and allegedly killed Grace Bloodlines. 
Demons spilled out and corrupted the island. This concrete sarcophagus was built to contain the spread. As soon as the demonic corruption took hold, it marked the beginning of the end for Island Sequence 24. The investigator is here. Which truths are contained within? Well, hey, let's find out. Need a code for this safe. Just talk to Henry about it. It's in his apartment after all. Okay. Uh. A chalked out ritual circle. Presumably where Henry conducted the ritual that caused his possession. Got it. Chalk symbols, candles, and statues of gods. Can't beat the classics when you're conducting an illegal ritual. I like Lady Love Dies. She's a fun character. Uh the corpse of Rena Division, Henry's mother. He killed her via strangulation. Looks like the corpse was left here when the corruption happened and the area was evacuated. She's been decomposing for ten years. No more evidence here. So then presumably the dead's- the, the reason why this place is called the Dead Zone is because of the demonic corruption messing everything up here and so they didn't want anyone else coming over here. Not human sized, or Henry's citizens are much smaller than uh, us demigods, or whatever you would call us. Alright, so looks like the only real thing here then is the safe that we can't get <laughs> until we talk with Henry. Alright, well, let's head up a little further and see if there's anything else here. Well, I hear something. Definitely hearing something. Sounds like it's like right here. I'm not seeing anything. Ooh. Okay, let's uh let's donate some more uh, blood. Dying from sadness. So carving about the god dying from sadness. A sentient rock that drifted to earth in the wake of the other gods. A despair philosopher. <laughs> okay. I mean, there's already nothing more depressing than being a sentient rock. I mean, that just seems like a really bad existence to have. Hmm. There's something there, but maybe it's maybe it's just this is like right above the room. I don't know. Okay, and that does appear to be uh, everything here. All right, well, let's uh. Whee! Uh. Make sure we're not missing anything else here, though. Ha. Uh. Huh. Oh. Okay, so this is the area that we kind of came in at. And I believe our, our secret tunnel uh. is over this way. See where this leads us. Got it. This door has a lock coded to witnesses and Carmelina's blood vials. That's weird. A witness has been entering this pretty regularly. A witness last entered two days ago. Sure. Carmelina hasn't been in here for years. That's definitely interesting. Well, this is cozy. Ooh, the there are crates that look like they could restrain something. I don't like this. This place is full of restraints and operating equipment. The restraints are all blessed, chains and holy crystals. The only reason you need these is if you're trying to contain something demonic. Got it. A demon was being held in here. May the silent goat protect me. Demon bunker! This could be big. A hidden demonology bunker is a big secret. I need to find out if this is related to the case before I go knocking on doors. I don't want to rattle anyone unnecessarily. Look at 
that thing. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at this. This is used for tomography. I'm guessing it was being used to see what's inside the demon. You don't want to know what's inside a demon, I'm guessing. I assume this device has something to do with studying demons. It seems to be some kind of high-powered microscope. I think this is a chromatograph. I didn't really pay attention in that class. It was when Isaiah and I had started dating. Ooh, happier days. The investigator a is containment here. crate. These restraints are covered in holy wards. These could be used to hold a demon. A Was someone storing a this. demon down here? Well, that does seem to be the obvious case here. Yes, Lady Love dies. All right. Well, we've we've looked at everything down here, so I guess that's all for now. Just like making sure I didn't miss anything, but no, we looked at all this. All right. Top dead back then. Yeah, so, I mean, of what we've seen so far, I think Witness has a lot of suspicious stuff going on based on what we've seen so far. And I think Lydia has a good amount of suspicious stuff based on what we've gathered so far. Those, those, those would be my two prime suspects right at this moment. Like, why is it so... Well, we can, we can talk about this as we're heading back. Like, why would Witness... Why is Witness continuing to go back there recently when Carmelina hasn't been there in, in so long? Because you certainly get the impression that they're close. But that would suggest that Witness is either keeping a secret from Carmelina, or Carmelina is purposely staying out of it. Perhaps to not get caught? Alright. So we made our way back up from the hatch here. We've been in there. Let's whoopsies. Let's head up. Let's see what's up there. Oh, also. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna waste your water, Sam. Ooh. Okay. Another future drink. Why do it? Why do what? The crime, the murder, the paradise killing. To reshape the world. When you pull a trigger or thrust a knife, the world branches. The old world is gone. It exists in history. Then history is forgotten. The world is remade or reshaped. It depends. We all live in the new world after that. The world must get reshaped a lot. More than you know. I wonder if those are characters that we know or will meet. So, uh, Gothic Second Whiskey, aged for longer and specially constructed crypts, tended to by self-possessed ghouls. Their obsession took them and warped them. All they do is caress the barrels until it is time to bottle. Well, that sounds delightful. Oh, and here he is. All right, Shinji, what do you got for me? I could really go for a cocktail! Wow. How did you get into cocktails? When the bar closes, I hang out on the roof and dab whatever's left. Cocktails are one of the few good things humans have made. Got it. What's your favorite? I like a nice mojito. Lots of rum and mint. I have a bad feeling We should about stop this. this conversation. It's been so long since I had a mojito. Wanna grab a few and watch the island die? No can do. <laughs> Whatever. You know, at the end of the day, I'm glad that Shinji's here. <laughs> this island is a better place with Shinji in it. Okay, doesn't appear to be anything else up here though, so let's head back down and uh, I guess have a chat with our uh, skeleton friend. Ask about your hidden pathway here. Alright, over here. Yep, alright. Sam Daybreak. Oh, this is uh, Lydia's husband, Hi, boyfriend, partner. Hey, I need a drink before we get here. Hey, LZ, heard you were back. Barmaster, born in the shadow of the dragon in Turkey in AD 999 under the sign of Shadow Zero. 
Sam took to killing like breathing. He killed to survive in the streets and then killed as a soldier before just killing for fun. He became a hitman extraordinaire under the banner of Shadow Zero. He met Lydia on the battlefield. They battled for two weeks, destroying the town of Raz 009. Lydia claimed victory and stabbed Sam through the heart. While fighting, he had fallen in love with Lydia and, in his moment of death, refused to leave her. His skin fell away and his skeleton hardened, becoming a deep red as he confessed his love for her. She too had fallen for him and accepted his confession. They fled to get married. He renounced his murderous ways and refuses to commit harm to others. Ugh. That's that is quite a lot. <laughs> Jesus. Starlight's filling you in, isn't she? Have you forgotten about us during exile? <laughs> I suppose isolation clouds the mind, doesn't it? Hey Sam, it's been a while. Nice jacket. You noticed it was a gift from Lydia. She always had good taste, <laughs> doesn't she? Lydia has missed drinking with you. I missed you too as well. You're the only normal people on these islands. That's saying quite a lot. That's nice of you to say, LD. Is this a joke, LD? It would be nicer if you were back under better circumstances, wouldn't it? I have a bad feeling about The syndicate this. is in a bad place. What do you believe about? It's devastating, isn't it? Our friends and colleagues have been taken from Don't. us. Test There's me. not a lot of wailing, or wailing or grieving going on. Is this Hedgehog out? We've existed for unknown epochs of time, haven't we? Gives everyone a different perspective on things. Sure. How is the whiskey blend on this island? Some vanilla, car caramel, spice, and just a hint of smoke. The spice is unusual. The whiskey tastes like the island is made on. This has been a peaceful island. The caramel and vanilla are in harmony. The spice twists in your mouth, it coils and slips between the other's flavors. What's the whiskey telling you, Sam? What? There's something under the surface. Something that twists, something that has moved between us all. You can feel it too? There anything I can help you with? Oh, there's certainly some things you can probably help me with. You think Henry really did this, Sammy? It's hard to say, isn't it? It's a hell of a crime. What do you believe, LD? I'm still making my truth. Is this Hedgehog LD? Akiko found him with council blood in his stomach. It's messed up, isn't it? What do you He's clearly a sicko. Sure. That's what I'm trying to work out. Can you think of anyone that would want to kill the council, Sam? Are you accusing Kill the council? The crime of the century or the millennium? What? I don't think I do, LD. I'm really sorry I can't be of more help. Everyone here is a loyal member of the Syndicate, aren't they? I hope that's true. I kinda hope it isn't. <laughs> In fact, I know it isn't, but I also hope it isn't. Where were you at the time of the murder, Sam? Am I under suspicion, LD? Got it. Sam, I'm an investigator. <laughs> of course, LD. We must all cooperate, mustn't we? Lydia had taken me to the Paradise Gates. My unique. I finished packing up the bar, spent a few minutes taking the place in. Couldn't have expected to be back here, could I? What time did you leave the bar? <laughs> I let Yuri know I was gonna go. Lydia came to get me, and we went to the gates. She picked me up about 10 to midnight. We arrived at the gates about 5 to midnight. Any proof? The nightmare computers at the gates will have the logs. I'll check them out. What about your motive? Sure thing, LD. What do you need to know? Oh. Got anything you'd like to tell me? <laughs> Don't think so, LD. <laughs> We're happy. Everyone has a motive. They just need to think harder, Sam. <laughs> Is that true, LD? Without a doubt. Did you see Yuri last night? What? Lydia tried phoning him. You should ask her, shouldn't you? That's true, we should. But, you know, never hurts to ask. What do you know about KHX's disappearance and also he's dead? I don't think I can help you on this one, can I? Maybe check out his place overlooking the ocean? Oh, believe me, that was the first thing I did. Did you see the Grand Marshal last night? Akiko? Didn't see her, I'm afraid, LD. You should ask her yourself, shouldn't you? Did you see the architect last night? <laughs> if you asked the architect, LD, that'd be my first stop, wouldn't it? 
<laughs> Stop asking me about people I don't care about. Did you see the doctor last night? He said he'd been in his clinic, didn't he? Is there anything else you can tell me about Henry's movements last night? You've been to the desolation yet cell yet, LD? You should ask Akiko, shouldn't you? What do you know about Henry's demonic possession ten years ago? Is that true, LD? The dead zone's bad news, LD. If you're looking into a crime from a decade ago, you're gonna have to share you're gonna have to stare into the hell coffin. What do you know about the escape last night? Not sure what help I can be, LD. Have you spoken to Akiko? Man, you really didn't help me out much at all. We didn't even ask you about your secret hideout. I guess I gotta find more. Fancy a drink? But hey, let's hang out. I will definitely fancy a drink. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what do you recommend, Sam? How long since you had a drink? Sure. Three million days? Feel like catching up? <laughs> yeah, you know what hit me. Hit me. Make it a large one. How about starting with a highball? Oh, I'm glad to Sounds be good. <laughs> Please enjoy. I'm glad to be back. Ah, that's a good highball, Sam. You were too kind, LD. I'm still practicing. This is Dead Nebula's Beyond Horizon, a nice blended whiskey. It has a crisp flavor and a sweet, smoky aroma. Goes perfectly with a soda water and a garnish of mint to make a nice highball. You've been running a bar for longer than I've been alive. You're a master. My unique there is always something new to learn and improve, isn't there? You said it, Sammy. The Endless Pursuit. <laughs> it is a curse and a blessing, isn't it? The investigator is it creates here. a restless mind, frustrated by not being able to practice, but in the moment of doing, you are in heaven. Precisely. <laughs> the key to a highball is the ice. This ice is frozen at negative 20 degrees Celsius. Makes the ice harder so it doesn't melt. You can enjoy the taste of the ingredients without them being diluted. The ice is cut to provide a tight fit in the glass. A highball has to be stirred gently so the soda doesn't fizz. You stir without the ice moving apart, it chills it nicely, doesn't it? You always make the perfect drink. I am under Please, LD. I am still learning. I need to go and breathe life back into paradise. Good to talk to you, Sam. It is always a pleasure, LD. Please stop in again, won't you? Absolutely. Alright. May you always live in the shadow. And may you reach the moon. Oh, so we actually went... <laughs> I, I didn't understand the context that we went into the bar there. Okay. Alright. Well, let's, uh... Yeah, yeah, let's let's get just a little bit. I, I want to get to a new place before we leave things off. Alright, so, came up here. And we came from that direction. And then there's also that one there, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, let's head into, uh, citizen housing here. There's something over here, too. Something on that. Yep. Should have known. Alright, well, let's get a drink first, then we'll go get that. Uh, looking for a B5. Some sort of lime drink? A delicious- oh, green tea! A delicious green tea that is known to help you remain calm and collected in the face of cosmic insanity. Other flavors were introduced, but all failed. No drink can stop the cosmic insanity. There it is. Oopsies. See, that's the thing, with these multiple levels, it's just, it's so easy to get lost in all sorts of nonsense. The Fifth Island Sequence, the Sin of Silence. Our cosmic architect, Romeo Silenced, is deceived by cosmic deceit, lured into treason against us by a god. He is executed, and the Silence family are forbidden from ascending to the council. So, how, how does one get onto the council if they're not on the council? It's the dog! Oh my god, folks. 
Well, I can't. I couldn't ask for a better cliffhanger for next time, you know? Blissful sky. Clouds used to hide flocks of unspeakable flying horrors during the war. After the Great Betrayal, they finally became safe. Alright, well, folks, join me next time for this dog. I mean, come on. You, you can't miss this for the world. Uh, so until then, this has been Downstage Gaming. I have been your host, Josh, and I will see you and this dog next time.